I envision a day, a time, when Africa could be in a situation where time and space would be irrelevant, okay? Where it is possible to deliver health services that there are all these silos we call hospitals, we call clinics, we call doctor's offices, well, we call ministries of health or whatever that people have to go to. In developing countries, going to these silos or these entities is very expensive in time, in energy, and even uh, infrastructural reforms are needed because some places are not motorable and it takes hours for people to get and then they go and they wait for hours. Then they have to pay from their pockets. And I was saying, I'm envisioning uh, a, a time and space <laughs> where all of this will be unnecessary. And I'm saying the population also, this I didn't mention earlier, the population is exploding at a faster rate than the institutions that are set up to care for the population. So how are we going to capture all of this population? That once you define space, you have limited the number of people who can come. And also, many times you have defined the time. Okay, and so you have defined participation and limited the expanse of opportunities and open space that is available for people to participate.